Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video, I want to show you one quick trick you can use inside of Lightroom to get dramatically faster editing speeds. So this trick might blow your mind because it is an often overlooked feature inside of Lightroom, but once you start using it, you really see the power inside. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so you might have had this experience before. You're trying to edit your photos in Lightroom, but the problem is when you're in this develop module, every change you make takes like 10 seconds to show up and there's this huge delay and you're just killing yourself because there's nothing you can do to speed up Lightroom. It's driving you crazy and having to wait 15 seconds for every single adjustment you make to show up is just going to take way longer to edit the session. Well, I had this experience the other day and I just happened to be in the library view instead of my develop module and I thought to myself, I wonder what this quick develop panel is about. Now obviously I know you can use it inside of the Lightroom library module, however I've never actually looked at it that closely. I've used it for global adjustments, so if you want to grab everything and just set your tone control to auto or adjust your white balance and set it to auto or whatever, I've used it for that. But I've never actually used it for editing and I thought to myself, self, is it possible that you could actually edit your photos in the library module? And the reason you'd want to do that is because if you're in the library module, you can view the photos so much faster. See how fast I'm scrolling and there's really no delay between these photos loading. It's so much quicker. So if you go to the library module, you can do that by going to the grid view by pressing G or once you're in the library, press command plus or control plus probably on a PC. You'll have to figure that out to get to the full screen view of the library. And once you do that, you can actually notice that we have our quick develop panel here and we can adjust our exposure, basic settings, things like this, shadows, highlights, whatever it is, we can adjust all of that in the quick develop panel. So if you have most of your settings sorted and all you have to do is really adjust your exposure and a few basic settings, which is typically what I'm doing inside of Lightroom, most of the time I'll let the preset that I use do the heavy lifting for me. So for instance, here's, I'll reset the photo. And at the very beginning of the session, I'll just apply our clean and classic preset is what I've been liking recently. You can download this for free. I'll make sure I leave a link below in the description. And I'll adjust the exposure, adjust the contrast a little bit to where I kind of like it, and life is good onto the next photo, which is fine in the develop module. But if you're using 2,000 photos in a session, it takes a long time. Whereas if you're in the library view here, I can make those same adjustments far faster and scroll without delay and just go through here adjust things and there's no delay whatsoever, right? I still have to wait for the change itself to show up, but what's gone is the lag between images loading. It's so much better that way. So what I can do then is I have my preset applied, I'll scroll through and just anytime there's an image that needs a slight tweak, like that one maybe a little bit brighter, perfect, and I move on. I don't have to wait between photos anymore. It's so, so much better for those kind of basic adjustments. And if I find out, you know, I'm going through and this photo, let's say, needs more of a localized adjustment. Well, I'll go in, press the D key to get to the de to get to the develop module, and then I can simply brush that on there, and do my thing. Perfect, swanky, and then I'll go back to the grid mode and resume my quest. Just going through one photo at a time, but it's way, way faster than if I were to do this in the develop module. Just to show you. There's that instant of delay waiting for the resolution to show up, waiting for the photo to load. And so it's going to be a lot faster when you're editing large amounts of photos to do it in the library view using your quick develop panel. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I know it might not have been anything new, but it might just be a feature in Lightroom you've overlooked that has some serious benefit, especially if you're editing large batches of images. If you like this, please make sure to hit that like button for me. If it was helpful, make sure to subscribe for more great content and leave me a comment below. What did you think? Do you have other tips or techniques that you found has really sped up your Lightroom editing process? I'd love to hear about them. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.